Hello, welcome friend. My name is Annika and today I'm doing the cheap art supply challenge and I'm using a no brand watercolor set which was 10 Swedish crown which is about one US dollar and I also used colored pencils from Biltema. It's a 24 pack and they cost about 35 Swedish crowns. It's about four dollars. I also used one IKEA pencil and those are free and I've used some old cheap paintbrushes that I already had and I'm using the back side of a cereal box to paint on and yes that's about it let's go into the sketching phase as you can see I did quite a few thumbnail sketches for this one because uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I did end up going to Pinterest for some inspiration and I found this photograph of a girl with a flower crown that I really liked. Uh, it was kind of mysterious. So I... but I, I didn't really know if that was something I wanted to continue with. So I did a lot of others before going back to that idea. I did some color studies as well. And you might have noticed that the first one on the top uh, with the black hair and the yellow dress uh, is quite darker and so on. Uh, because I used uh, some um, water-based felt tip markers on that one as well as some crayons. Because uh, bought, I, bought, I bought those two for the cheap art supply challenge with the intention of using every supply but I in the end I quite like a more pastel look and I, I decided to go with that so I will be doing another cheap art supply challenge in the future with the, the ones I didn't use and yes but when I started sketching out on the backside of the cereal box. I had some trouble deciding what I would want her to do because yeah nothing really stood out so I I was trying for her to hold something uh, like some magic but I've done that quite a few times so I thought I, I could try something a little bit different at least. And I asked my partner for some advice, uh, but he is hard to press for ideas because you think he has a very poor imagination, which I don't think he has, but... So after pestering him for a bit, he did say that he thought I maybe could do a bird of some kind. And sometimes that's all I need. Uh, I just need something to spin off of because the bird that I sketched doesn't really look like any bird out there but I did use some reference to kind of get an idea of how a bird looked and kind of the style I wanted it to have. I decided that I was going with the bird, I sketched the bird out but it did still need something more because I it didn't really tell a story because I really want uh, my pictures to tell some kind of story. I don't always succeed but that's a goal that I, I aim for with most of my drawings. So I thought yeah what could I add? I was going for a bunny at first but didn't really quite <laughs> get the ears right and I didn't I was kind of lazy didn't look up reference uh, I could have perhaps gone with the bunny idea if I had used some reference but I yes a cat uh, or a cat like creature at least it's still yes there's mistakes all over but I, I, I did like the end result and um, yes so that's the sketching part and I probably <laughs> ramble on a little too long but so and as for the background I could perhaps have done a little bit more uh, and I 
I need to start using reference when drawing flowers because I kind of do this all the time, but yeah, I need to work on that as well as backgrounds because I, I do want to practice more with um, environments to kind of put my characters in something that suits them, if that makes sense. I, I really would like to do that and uh, what more so as for the watercolors they are not the greatest as expected they were quite fun to work with but they're kids um, watercolors so they're chalky and uh, not very pigmented which is expected of course but i sprayed uh, the entire pan with uh, some water and uh, worked like that and I used the lid to mix my colors so that I could get some variations on the colors or yeah I mixed my colors on the lid and the reason why I didn't use the brush that is in the set is because it's super hard and you you can't really work with it I if I would have used that I would have been very frustrated and would not have finished the drawing, I think, or painting. So that's why I decided to use my own brushes that I already had. And they're pretty cheap ones, at least those. I've had them for many years and they're still okay. They're a little bit worn out, but uh, they work fine and uh, I used a flat one and two round brushes. I think all of them are synth... synth... I can't say that word. Synthetic? Synth... I can't even say it in Swedish, so I'm not going to try. Yeah, they're not natural haired. Uh, <laughs> so what more? So this is a very fun challenge too, and it shows that it's not really about the materials it's how do you use them and your knowledge of the fundamental things of drawing that counts and I might even have made something better with them if I've practiced more beforehand because it's a learning curve whenever you try new things so I may be able to produce something uh, even nicer if I actually had uh, practice with them first, so that's something to consider as well. But it's a good way to start out, uh, and I recommend if you're starting out with art, it's a good way to start with the less expensive things and work your way up. If you find that you are liking some materials, like watercolors for example, if you like those, maybe invest in better quality paints as you grow and because I do recommend that if you're getting to the point that you are considering selling your art it's a good idea to invest in at least a little bit better materials because you because you want your buyer to have the piece of artwork that you made for a very long time and still look as good as the day you made it and um, yes the cheaper stuff may fade faster and discolor and may not hold with time so for that reason it could be a good thing to get some nicer things so that's a thing to consider at least when i started out i i mostly used regular HP pen pencil that you got in school. I used computer paper and uh, a lot of ballpoint pens and um, I did get, uh, because I was interested in art, I got a lot of things for birthdays and such and many of those things I still have to this day. So things do last a long time when it comes to art. Maybe not everything but when it comes to watercolors at least, they do last a very long time. The, the most expensive thing could be paper actually, but 
paper do make a difference with when it comes to art. Some papers just don't, can't ha handle <laughs> certain things. But yes, for starting out it's a good thing to just use what's cheapest and try it out. And so, some final thoughts. I, I really enjoyed this challenge. I actually really liked the drawing and I I kind of was a little bit sad that uh, I made this for the cheap art supply challenge because I think I could have done a better job with it if I have to used my usual stuff. But I think I might redo this at a later date just because I, I really like it. I might tweak some things of course but I, I really do like the design of her and the animals. So I might do that again. And as I mentioned, I did uh, buy some other cheap art supplies that I wanted to try out. So there will probably be a new one in the future that I want to do. And uh, I hope this voiceover makes sense. It's been a long time in the work. I have worked on this voiceover for quite some time and I just want to finish it. So if it's a little bit off in places, I apologize, but I just want this to be finished so I can upload it. I think that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Hey don't!